is up guys, it's Kevin here from Passion Forward Always. Wow, that echo. Holy shit. I'm here with a new video. This is gonna be more of like a discussion video. Uh, this is going to be specifically about Virgil Abloh now being appointed the creative director of menswear for Louis Vuitton. And this did cause a bit of a stir up. A lot of people were angry, a lot of people were like, mm. Virgil Abloh, Mr. Off-White, give good sucks up. So I'm gonna give you guys, I guess, my take on it and why I don't think you guys should really be worried about it. So, let's go. Number one is he is, at least in my opinion, a competent designer. He may not have the traditional training that a lot of these other um, people had such as I guess Kim Jones prior so his Nike collabs I think were actually extremely nice and they're extremely extremely awesome for Nike to give him the ability to do that because I think it is just it like breathed like a fresh of bleh, gave the silhouettes that he did like kind of this like modern touch and like it gave it like almost like that avant-garde but like without like reaching too much into the place to where like it can't be wearable it was just like, I think it was an amazing thing. So if he continues that, um, that sort of like revolutionary, you know, design language into like Louis Vuitton, I think it'd be extremely interesting. So I do believe that his women's wear line of Off-White is a lot better than the men's wear, or at least it has a lot more experimental garments, but I think it's honestly just because men, they don't really want to try. Like, we're good with, like, t-shirts that say off-white, saying things. Number two is that Louis Vuitton itself is already sort of streetwear-esque. We saw that with the Supreme collaboration that they just recently had. And we also saw that with some of Kim Jones's uh, runway stuff. Because a lot of it is streetwear-inspired. And I think, you know, like, who other than Virgil Abloh to really do something more streetwear slash luxury. Because he's sort of blending the lines and like blending the genres together. And number three is that I don't think you guys should really worry about heritage. Um, Cause one, nobody really worried about the heritage of a brand before, you know, Virgil Abloh got appointed. So like, I have no idea why everybody all of a sudden is like a Louis Vuitton, like purist, you know? Like they aren't gonna change the base like leather goods or change any of their like, like super like ready to wear stuff. He's just gonna be producing new garments, new ideas and trying to influence that. And he's sort of looking at the old Louis Vuitton heritage under the lens of a new generation. So I do not think it is a bad, I guess, look. Virgil himself actually during like a small little icebreaker interview himself said that he would be interested and he's actually really excited to be going to Louis Vuitton because he has just like so many ideas that he can implement into the brand and make it more relatable to the youth and a bit more youth focused. And moving from my third point to the fourth one, it's kind of intertwined because Virgil has acknowledged the heritage of like Louis Vuitton and he's not throwing it completely out the water. He's taking inspiration from it just like any other creative designer would do. So obviously it won't be something drastically crazy or he won't turn Louis Vuitton into like a completely like hype beast or a fuckboy brand. He is just gonna change it from the Kim Jones era, which was kind of like a like luxurious materials into something a little bit more youth focused. So I'm actually really interested to see what that entails exactly. And number five is this is just like the natural progression of fashion. Fashion is always moving forward, always onto the next thing. Streetwear has been, you know, fashion's new next thing. Same with the resale market and all of that. You know, Supreme has been valued at like a billion dollars. So that's just like, if you think of that in scope of everything, it's crazy. It's like these small brands who used to be just like nothing, people screen printing t-shirts for their friends and for like their groups and turning into this like multi billion dollar industry, especially with the resale market and all of that. And it's like generating hype and generating value through, I guess, like social income and seeing like whether or not this piece of item equates to this guy has this much money or this guy has this certain social status. So I think it's extremely, extremely interesting. And it's awesome seeing that somebody who didn't exactly go to fashion school or didn't, I guess, study under the tutelage of uh, like, let's say, for example, uh, like Margiela studied under like Jean-Pierre Gaultier. I, I think Virgil only did like a short internship with Kanye West at Prada and that's about it. Like he hasn't had too much, 
I guess, formal training underneath it. It was more just like getting his hands dirty with off-white, with Pyrex Vision, with, I guess, like Super. It, it was another brand that was before Pyrex and just working with Kanye and working with all these different artists and musicians is that like he gained his knowledge through practical experience, which is, I think, really relatable to the youth because the youth, at least now, they aren't going the traditional, you know, you gotta go to college, gotta do this, gotta do that. They're taking other avenues, at least when it comes to fashion and making your own brand because you don't necessarily need to go to fashion school to make I guess a successful brand. So that was about my thoughts. It was just like a quick discussion video because I see everybody just like talking down upon it and I think everybody should at least give Virgil Abloh a chance at Louis Vuitton because he does produce, you know, very generic garments for a lot of his menswear, but that's just because that's what the market is. For like, if you take a look at some of his women's wear stuff, it's actually extremely interesting. And I'll just put up some like photos that I think is interesting, or you guys can look at my Instagram. I think I have a few, um, few on my inspo page. But yeah, I definitely think you guys should give it a chance, but have like an air of like skepticism, like take it with a grain of salt. Cause then I could be wrong and he could be just going the complete fuck boy route, but I hope, I hope he isn't. Um, I'm sure he knows better than that. I'm sure the LVMH group knows better than that because this is like a big, big, big brand for them, obviously, because it's like one of the starting brands of that group. So yeah, let me know your guys' opinions about Virgil Abloh going to Louis Vuitton. Uh, let me know whether or not you guys liked it, you guys hated it, uh, like whether or not like you think Louis Vuitton and Virgil Abloh can absolutely get, you know do well together or whether or not you think they'll crash and burn, just let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram. We can have a conversation going. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has just been like a short discussion video. I just wanted to get the ball rolling. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.